What's up everyone, this is Kenny here from Property Stories. So today I'm at Mon Kiara. I'm going to take you to Vista Kiara Condominium. It's located on Jalan Kiara 3. So let's go. So it's located on this Jalan Kiara 3. Yeah. If you are coming from Bangsa South, the DJ area, you come here. Then it's on your right. Right opposite, right, this land here is actually the parking for Garden International School. That is Garden International School. And you go in here. There is Vista Kiara, Vista Kiara condominium. This is Vista Kiara condominium. So this part here, this cafe here, actually is also part of this Vista Kiara condominium. Ah. This is actually genius, you know, where the cafes here, they collect parking, eh, private parking collect, and then these rentals, they paid to the JMB of Vista Kiara condominium. It's really genius. So this is their entrance, the guard house, go in here, and let's go, all right? They have this Copenhagen coffee here, eh, quite famous. And then there are other cafes here, and also I think there's some salon. So this place, they actually pay rental to the GMB of the condominium. So that will be the entrance of the condominium. So let's go in and take a, have a look. So the moment you enter this road, it's actually a one round. We will come back, it's a one way road. Huh? But look at this. This is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, seven acres land. The developer actually used all the land to build this low dense development. This is block A and that is block B. So the moment you come in, you'll be greeted by some beautiful landscape. Okay, this is like a waterfall here. And then this is where you go up to block A. Ah. So we go there. Okay. So I just let me show you around the waterfall area, the facilities. I don't know about you, but sitting down here, listening to waterfall is very calming. So let's go up the staircase. We go to the gastro bar, okay? So this is where you come out. Later, we go and take the car and go and go around. But for now, let's go to the facility. So the uh, two blocks will share one big facility podium. Oh, wow. That's a large snail. Landscape done very well. So this is the gastro bar. I want to get your food. But look at this. Just look at this vast view. This is their facility floor. Okay, this is their this is the adult pool. Now let's go. I walk there for this through to block B. This for you to rest. Fancy, huh? Oh, okay. There's some, there's some pigeons up there. <laughs> so this is the pool. It's not that deep, actually. I mean, I can, you can see it's literally not that deep. So you can see the landscape. The trees, all well maintained. Out here, you will find this children's playground here. Okay. I'm just going to take off the mic uh, and let you hear the sound of the water and also the birds chirping. There are so wildlife birds and then you can hear the sound of water, it's so calming. This is children's playground and it's also an outdoor gym lah, huh? a little bit small, small some facilities here. This is where you go to block B. Okay, that is under renovation, you need to go that way. Can you hear the birds chirping? I didn't put on the mic, I just want you all to experience the birds chirping, the sound of the water. So peaceful. Holy, 
Oh, there are squirrels here. Damn. Oh, look at that. So fast they move, I can't even capture on camera. Let's try to catch this one. Ah, then. Can you see this? A squirrel there. Let me see whether I can get a closer look. There's a squirrel on the tree. There's a squirrel on the tree, can you see? There. A squirrel there on the tree. The facilities here are a lot, I tell you. Actually. Look, they even have these kind of streams. That's a waterfall there. Children's slide also got. Just wait to see. Hmm? When you go up here, you have more place for you. There are greens today. Ah, here. So those are units, huh? it's a bit low. I think second floor, if I'm not mistaken. They will have papaya tree. <laughs> Okay, let me show you how much more facilities they have. Oh, nice water delete. Look at this. There's a full court, basketball court here. And that is a two tennis court. There's tennis court. There's two courts uh, for you to play with tennis. Tennis lovers. You all can play here. Okay. And there's basketball court. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this block 8, show you again. Okay, so go on, phone down here, there's parking also here. The parking is actually underground one, huh? I think that one is for block B. Okay. So this is how the pool deco look like. You can see there are some pigeons up there, some birds up there. Alright. So the sound the water very calming. Okay, let's go to block A. The side there have got more facilities. Walk underneath here. You can see the security is very good. So, so that is block A. Left side and right side again. Okay. Actually, it's the same design as block B. La. Okay, but so when you look at this, right? Look at the building facade. Ah. This is how it looks like. Up there again, it's actually a penthouse. So there are a number of units here and number of units here, okay? This is block A. 
So you're gonna go down? That I think it's a Reventon Court, if I'm mistaken. Let's go. Yep. Babington Squash Table Tennis Hall. Wow, you even have a place for you outside to relax after you play the talk, catch up. Wow, it's very beautiful man. So let's go and see the hall. This is squash pot. Oh, I've got two squash pot here. They didn't, didn't really use. I think this is the hall. Don't think it's in use anymore. Never mind, let's go. Ah, this is from the parking. See, you go down here, you can go to the parking. Let's go down to the parking. Eh? So, owners. You can't go in from here, you have to go in from... I'm out from the hall. So now, actually, you, I'm going to the parking, uh, resident parking. These are all visitor parking. So resident parking is here, this side. So entrance, exit. Okay. So every unit has one parking. Uh. You will notice that the ceiling height it's low, okay? I stand here, I can actually reach it. So this is the parking. Let's go. I'm back at the swimming pool area. So now I'm going to go to the uh, block B show you more facilities there hmm. the garden really well maintained you see rubbish all clean you don't see people litter anywhere okay so to go to block B from here is how it goes here This road. The beams, so many beams. I think this is Block B's parking. Restroom, I think this one's for the uh, pool area. From here, you can see the parking. And on my right, this part here is a gym. Okay. There's a small gym. All, a lot of all the basic stuff. Uh. This is the gym here will require you to have an access card. Okay? So this road will take you to block B. While you, you go this way, you reach to on my right here is the conference room. Yeah, this is the conference room here. And management office. Management office is here. It is close. Okay. So if you are a resident, then you go down this staircase, that is your parking. Okay. So that is the parking for block B. La.
so there are two blocks here today we are going to visit block B all right this is how block B looks like uh, the facade and you can see this unit here this is actually a unit uh, it's a penthouse unit I think there's only if I'm not mistaken two or four units I can't remember but every floor this part here has four units this one has four units okay so when you come in you separated it already so block B unit 5-8 that's, that's where you go and it's, there's a gate okay and when you come in here this is where the weight area you go there is facility and this is block B also but units like I think hold on uh, one to four yeah one to four so every before you go up right you need to have the access card to go up there every block will have their own need to have their own access card okay if you are staying at block B you are actually the closest to 163 mall huh? okay so you see that guard house there you need an access card huh, to pass through that gate huh? then only you can go to 163 mall that is the oak already and 163 mall is just behind in future I think behind here there will be a entrance to the MRT MRT 3 if I'm not mistaken uh, so that is our quarries that is uh, oak so actually it's very near to a lot of amenities and if you are working here this, these are all offices and Jalan Kiara 1 is just behind mostly our offices so this space is very convenient access card required to access okay your unit and when you go out right this is your mail room your mailbox the moment you pass that gate there you need access card huh? because owners and you can access this there are two lifts for you to go up to your unit 25 floors so I think this one is the penthouse if I'm not mistaken so the moment you come up for a lift right this is how it looks like there's only four units huh, on one floor okay so two is here and two is here okay and then this is the refuse area this small refuse area one bin here one window and that for you to wash so now I'm outside a unit I'm going to show you a unit that my client actually won in auction it's about 1400 square feet he has 3 plus 1 I think the one there being a utility room and two bathrooms okay so let's take a look so this is how it looks like uh. The lights and water is still there. Okay. When you come in, right, this is the hall. And you will notice that this unit has no balcony. Eh? So is immediately when you look outside, that is the oak. And from there you can actually go to the oak Kara 163 mall. Eh? Uh, so let's take a look. These are where all the rooms and the kitchen ah. let's go to the kitchen first on the left so this unit comes at this you see all the kitchen cabinet looks quite good actually and there's even a bar counter here it's not actually a bar counter like it's like you put the food here and then the dining table is there ma. the dining area is there so it's easier you don't have to come in there. just put the food here so actually the unit is for auction, uh, if you always think the units are not well kept, right? But this unit looks at it. These days, right? Sometimes uh, you can get auction, you get units like this, where it's well kept one. So, yeah, three, four icons here. Okay? So, behind me, here, is actually the utility room or storeroom, uh, uh, is where the switch is. Okay? So now we are going to go to the rooms. See, everything is still okay. This one is where you can put your fridge. So I maybe need some repair, la, but not much. This rack. Okay, let's go to the rooms. First, we start with this small room on my right. Okay? It comes like this. Everything is in. Room, the size is actually quite big. La. Even though you got a cabinet here, you can put a Queen size bed, no problem here. 
this plug point, plug point, so the bed is right in the middle. And maybe you can put a coffee table here, uh, side, bed side table. So this one, this wardrobe, right, also comes with a dressing table here. Uh, so it's a dressing table here. Now, okay, this is the master room. This is the another bedroom number two. This is the shared bathroom. Uh. So this bathroom here is where you and your guests will be using also. Okay, yeah, if you are outside. Look, the things are all very good. Eh? Okay, so this is another room, the second room. Okay, you obviously can see, right, this is actually for one stay one. You see the cabinet. Then you got one mirror there for you. Okay. Actually, this room is very, very big. On much, much bigger than the other room. So this one, I think this one. Okay, here's the plug point, right? Uh, you can put bed also, no problem. Uh, but hmm, really a lot of things can do. You can put a lot of things inside your bed, there, side table, you can put maybe put to a desk. Huh? Now, from this room, beside is the master room. Okay? So, this is the cabinet it comes with. Let me just go back. Hang. Huge cabinet. Okay? Then, that's the bathroom. So the master room, right, you'll be facing Okra. Uh, so you just put some curtains here, that's it, privacy there. Let's go and take a look at the bathroom. There's a full mirror, full on mirror like this. It feels like a hotel, man, really. And then, this is the bathroom. Bathroom even comes with a bathtub. Okay. This is how the house looks like. So the corridor, I think maybe we need to replace that one, but the rest are all okay. Look at the lights, beautiful. I can imagine once you actually renovate this whole place, right? It's definitely going to be a very beautiful place to stay, or even as a good investment, actually. Since the close proximity to the oak, and also you have this private area where you can, there's a, there's a gate there, come out straight away, you can go up to the oak. This is definitely your dining area. So your tables are here. That's where you get your food put here. Okay. Mm. Dining area a bit closer to close to the main door. So you come in straight away see your dining area. <laughs> this is your living hall. Mm. Considering I think it's okay lah. I mean like okay lah. It's a large dining area. You also don't really have much people coming here because it's quite. It's a gated garden and it's private. So I think that that touch there is a very good touch. Ah. The previous owner did it. Super dining area here. So that's it for the tour of Vista Kiara Condominium. This place is a beautiful place. It is highly suitable for own stay. And it's well maintained ah, despite its age. Okay? I just did a small check on the developer. The developer here is the same developer that developed Lanai Kiara. And now they are in the market uh, for a new development called Kiara Mas the Daun. Yes, they are the same developer with this Vista Kiara. Uh. So the Kiara Mas collection, Kiara Mas the Daun, Kiara Mas Ayuria, Gateway Kiara Mas, these are all their development. It's a boutique developer of Mon Kiara. So there's not many projects here that is by them because well, boutique director, okay? But judging from the past projects, especially Vista Kiara Condominium, I will understand why they have their own fan base and they have people who will buy whatever product they put out. This is really a well thought out place. I love the facilities, I love the accessibility, I love the location, I love the people that stays here because when you look at the common area that I can't find any rubbish, and the gardens are all well maintained. The Gardens International School is right opposite. Then behind there, you, see, you can go straight away to the mall, the Wakiara 163 Mall. 
outside of Kerala City Mall, you reach Jalan Kerala one already. One more Kerala offices are there. Okay, so there's all the convenience here, everything. <laughs> and the best part about this kind of places, right? Since they are old, a lot of people will miss this hidden gem. So if you are looking to buy something for its own stay, you want to look for a budget place, and yet a place where you can feel safe and comfortable. There's a lot of room to move. You can see this big area here. Come and check out the Sakyara Colombia. Alright? So this is Kenny here from Poppy Stories and I'll see you again next video. Bye bye.